So, upon further speculation of the Matthew 10 conundrum, let me pose a simple answer for you. In the scriptures it says that salvation was first for the, for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Indeed, even Jesus' parable about those who would not come in, right, uh, or come to the wedding feast, if you remember the wedding feast, where he invited these people and said, oh, I can't come, I just bought a field and I have to go see it, or I'm going to get married, and everyone had their excuses, so he said, go out and, 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 and invite all the lame and, and, the, and the sick and the sinners and everyone out there, whoever they are, and have them come in. Now, this parable seems to go to the idea that it was to the Gentiles. So this idea that in, um, in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5 where it says, Do not, uh, do not go into the, uh, and preach to the Gentiles, only go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And by the time you get done preaching, the kingdom will come. The reason why it looks so racist is for this reason. First of all, because um, Jesus did actually preach to the Samaritan woman uh, at the well. So how do you reconcile that idea? I can tell you quite clearly that when it said first to the Jew, you know, the kingdom of God, the revelation was given to the Jews through Moses. Because Moses and all the sacrifices... And all the stories of the, of, the, of the Torah and the prophets pointed at Christ. And they didn't see it. And when Christ came, he did speak in parables to the Jews. Not to the Gentiles. He spoke clearly to the woman at the well. So the, so the whole idea that the, the, the twelve disciples were, not, were only to go to the house of of, of of Israel and the lost sheep of Israel and not to the Gentiles. When you look at it, it seems like a racist, a, ra a racist Jewish Moses and uh, bigoted uh, um, comment that was made to basically uh, uh, the idea that the Gentiles, the pig Gentiles could come to Christ. Now, that is, nobody knows nobody was there. But it makes logical sense, because the Jews, when they found out that the Gentiles were coming to God, well, when you're the chosen people, and then all of a sudden you're not chosen, especially when Paul said he, he wanted to provoke his people to jealousy, right? And they would be provoked to jealousy if they found out that they were chosen, but no longer, because they had rejected Messiah. Uh, they had killed the prophets that came and that they were crucifying Messiah, these Judaizing Jews would have wanted to write something like that. Can I tell you for sure? No. But you see, it does fit, now doesn't it? Because it does fit the idea that, that Jesus did preach to the Gentiles. That Jesus did speak in parables to the Jews so that they would, they would be ever hearing but never perceiving because they did kill the prophets. Um, so that's why I look at it from the point of view I look at it. Can I say for sure? No, I, I, I can't. But it does reconcile that problem quite quite well, now doesn't it? Um, whether it was just saying that, uh, that, that uh, you won't get done preaching through the kingdom uh, uh, and don't go to the Gentiles because they have to be first. And then the, it was the resurrection, right, that they were waiting for. It doesn't fit with the idea that Jesus did preach to the Samaritans. It doesn't, and it does fit with the idea with whoever wrote it may have been a racist. Thank you very much.